Greetings. You know, picture this scenario. Imagine you've just had, say, an extension done on your house. And it turns out that the builder was a cowboy. It's all been done wrong. And you've paid out lots and lots of money to have this extension made. Trusting in that person was telling the truth. How are you going to feel? Are you going to feel a fool? Are you going to go rush around and tell your neighbours that you've been had the wool pulled over your eyes? Or are you going to feel embarrassed about it? That's something to think about. Because you imagine, let's take that out of the scenario of having an extension built on your house. What about if it's in life? There's something to think about for certain. So, what about religions? It's funny, you know. I'm gradually seeing body language. I'm seeing aura colours of people, how they change when they're given a piece of information that will contradict with their belief system, their dogma that they cling on to. I'm not going to... Uh, go into one particular religion here but I will say I would recommend you look at the Morg channel, Morg Official what he says is basically the same as what I'm saying and he puts it across very well um, all these religions they are part of an old world that entrap us, when you understand that things are reversed, so God is dog, live is evil, doesn't mean go out and kill yourself but this life that we're living is a cycle that we will just keep going round and round and round. It's just pure logic. Let's use an analogy here. If you're on a sailing ship and someone says duck as that sail boom comes over, if you don't duck, you're going to get your head hit. Now, if you don't learn from that mistake, so when you hear the word duck, you duck, you're going to still continue to have your head hit. You don't learn from the mistakes. So logically... What you don't learn in each life, you will have to come back and do again. This is shown very clearly in sacred geometry. Because everything comes from a centre point of nothing and goes out to fill the whole circle. You shape that circle with any shape you want by creating sound vibration. The historical accuracy of the, the Tower of Babel doesn't matter because if you listen carefully to what people talk about in everyday lives, whether you're on a bus or a train, in a shop or in the workplace, you will hear lots of babble about, oh, I've got to pay for this holiday. I've got to go and go shopping. Um, I've got to buy this latest phone. You name it, it's just babble. It's superficial rubbish. All these things to make you feel, feel better about yourself. That is not helping life at all. When you understand the concept that everything comes from nothing, and that includes the good and the bad, is all created from a central source, original source, what people consider as God, that changes the entire emphasis because if you then harm anything, you are in effect harming yourself because we're all fractalized part of that original source. Darkness twists and inverts everything it's almost like reflections we're living in a ghastly hell of mirrors so you're not looking for one singular satan you're not looking for one singular son of god because that is within all of you at the end of the day no matter what happens you still have choice as to what you do this is what the garden of eden is showing you why do you think there are a, there is a symbol of a serpent or a snake going across a central pole? And this is what the serpent in the garden was. I mean, what, what is the purpose of this garden? Why has it got a wall around it? A wall is a barrier. This fake God wants you to just see one side. That's why he doesn't want you to eat from the tree of knowledge, because he doesn't want you to have a balanced view. 
the serpent is this sacred knowledge and showing you both sides now you'll see this same serpent symbolized in all sorts of uh, scientific equipment radio waves sound waves if you notice it crosses between the center point and looks at both sides continuously and moves forward as it does so that replicates the movement of a snake or a serpent it is having total knowledge of both good and evil having a knowledge of evil does not make you evil having an understanding of both sides looking at both sides of something gives you the ability to then choose for yourself which is the right path to take always stay in the balance see both sides but do not react do not hold on to old ideas so what if somebody did you wrong a year ago or two months ago forget it draw a line what is the point of bringing back the past to the present we are we are a presence in the present and i present myself as a present as a gift which is what we should all be doing to help each other and when i say each other that does not limit it to humanity i'm talking about all life we don't need commandments to tell us what to do we have the choice within us to, we know what to do we have a consciousness we have a conscience this is what the christ is it is not a singular being it is within all of us it's very easy to work out with the logic it breaks down all the barriers so i'm fully endorsing anybody that follows this morgue channel what he is saying is absolutely true also i would recommend that you look at matt barrel on his live feeds on facebook he shows you all the, ge the the geometry the sacred shapes and things we form sounds we shape the world around us we are all circles we are as enoch described wheels within wheels it's how we interact with each other the sounds we create we create the world around us we can apply this in everyday life in the, this life that we live it's very easy to do this is why i will not marry because i do not want to be a husband because a husband is a farming term i am not a partner to somebody either because that is a business term i'm not in a partnership in a business and i'm certainly not looking for profit or profits again notice how the words are twisted and have more than one meaning yeah god is dog and everything goes round the dog star it is trapping us in this geometry of zero to nine everything has the sum of nine 360 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees you add those numbers together you end up with the sum of nine and then you go round and have to repeat the process over and over and over that is the false infinity we are three points out there is a higher three chakras outside of the body but when you consider that everything is reversed up is actually down and down is actually up which is why you need to be down to earth and that ladies and gentlemen is why i am a low five or a high five depending on how you look at it because i blow hot and cold so i have wind i have fire i have ice i'm down to earth there's four i'm also me that makes five i am the low five i am lucid fire i'm going to leave it there there's plenty to think about there and i will be making another video very soon thank you